then watch this. Uh, the skate bowl? Neo, wait! <gasps> oh, no! How do I stop? Okay, Leo. Uh, oh, yes, thanks, Wendy. I'm fine. But what about the skate bowl? Oh no! It's ruined! And so's our video. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have gone into the bowl on my first day of skating. Wait a minute. This was your first day, Lightning, Leo. Oh, sort of. Maybe. <sighs> yes. Not to worry, Rockets. I think I know what we can do with that fresh load of cement. The wickedest thing on four wheels is definitely you. You should be in the video. <gasps> Are you serious? Thanks, Leo. <gasps> Ooh, maybe you could film it with your camera thingy. Done it without you, Dizzy. Or without Leo's extra camera work. Right, anyone up for some more skateboarding? Bring it on! No! Wendy, I think Leo needs a few more lessons. <laughs> Right, I should just try to get some rest. Must get some sleep. Maybe I should try counting sheep. Oh no, they're boring. I'll try tyres. One, two. What is that smell? Yikes! Nearly there, Bob. We don't want all this lovely ice cream melting. Nearly there, Chef Tatty. <sighs> Bob, it's Scoop! It's an emergency! Another one, Scoop? Did you get some rest? No, but there's a fire, Bob! A fire in the yard! Look, Scoop, you need to get rest. Otherwise, you're going to keep on exaggerating these small problems. But Bob! Rest, Scoop. Over and out. Ah! You've got to save the yard. But what do I do? I can pick it up because I'm made of metal. So, if Bob won't come to the fire, I'll have to take the fire to Bob. No one has to put it out. Oh, 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 no! Oh, oh, oh! You've got some amazing types of ice cream here, Chef Tete. Thank you. I invented them myself. Do people prefer the pizza flavour to the sardine and spinach flavour? We'll never know, Lofty, if we don't get them in the freezer soon. They'll melt. OK, try not to panic, Scoop. Drop it onto the sand. This is a real, real emergency! But I must put the fire out! Oh, the sea's too far away! Oh, I've got it! Great idea, Scoop! Quick mug, coffee scoop! We'll go, Bob! Well done, 
one for putting the fire out, Scoop. But you should never pick something up that's on fire. I know, Bob, but I was so tired and confused. Still, I should have listened to you when you said it was an emergency. Yeah, but I should never have exaggerated so much. I'll never, ever, ever exaggerate again in my whole life, ever. <laughs> What's done is done. You saved the yard, and luckily, only the roof's ruined. What about the ice cream? In half an hour, it'll be completely melted. Half an hour, you say? We can do that. So you can fix this? <laughs> yes, yes, we can! Start your engines! Ready? Steady? Go! Yes! It's that stand show! Never give up! Nothing can stop me now! What have you done this time? I'm sorry, Bob. I just wanted to be like Sky and break a record. Well, you definitely broke something. Oh, dear. The fun one starts in an hour, and we haven't even finished the rope bridge. Uh oh Oh, no. The game's not over just yet, team. We can fix this if we draw on our best abilities. Lofty, I'll need your amazing weightlifting strength. Sure thing, Bob. And look. I'll need your powerful bucket. No sweat. What's wrong, Scoop? Oh, I messed up everything for Sky's fun run. And I wasn't very good at sports either. And Scoop? Yes, Bob? You're an all-round all-star. I'll need your speed, ability and digging power. Yes, Bob? Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. The most important thing about a fun run is to have fun! And eat your broccoli. Go! So myself. Take us up, Luffy. It's not over yet, Lofty. We need to hurry and get the park finished. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! Madison, 
We're almost ready for your visit to Dino Park. Excellent, Bob. I'm so looking forward to seeing it. As am I. The beasts of the Cretaceous era are a special interest of mine. Especially our prized Triceratops. The Riverdale models don't move, you know. Oh, sorry. I've forgotten something. Just wait two minutes. Okay, guys, we're done. Not quite. Huh? Huh? Why is it not making any noise? The fool must have broken its roar. And the mayor is here. There's no time to fix it. Wait! I know someone who can make a good roaring noise. Who's it then? Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. No problem, Bob. I'm just glad you finished the park in good time. Shall we? Oh, very impressive. Oh, that's brilliant. Fantastic! <gasps> oh, isn't it meant to make a sound? Ooh. Yes, well, I'm not certain Triceratops would have sounded like that. It sounded very realistic to me. What up, we did be a dinosaur? Hmm. Where did Scoop and Lofty go? <laughs> Were you scared? Uh, maybe just a little? I wasn't. I was, uh... Helping Lofty. Watch out, Scoop! Slow down! <laughs> oh, thank goodness it's gone. What's going on? Oh, I'm going to fall in. Help! It's okay, Lofty. You're not going to fall. Stay calm. Slowly drive forwards. Uh, it's not working. Oh! None of Lofty's wheels are touching the ground, Bob. What are we going to do? It's a shame we can't just reel him in like a fish. Hang on a minute. That gives me an idea. Lofty, don't move. Just do exactly what I say. Uh-huh. Scoop, come forward really slowly so that your front bucket is below Lofty's hook. Uh-huh. Lofty, let your hook drop so Scoop can carry it. Ready, Rio, go with Scoop and attach Lofty's hook to the base of the spar. Wow. You'll be fine, Lofty. Ready, Bob! OK. Stand back now. Now, Lofty, start pulling your hook in really slowly. <laughs> That's it. You're doing fine. And now, drive forward very gently. <laughs> yeah! Well done, Lofty. Thank you, Bob. I'm sorry, Lofty. Messing about by the river. I put Lofty in danger and we've lost part of the bridge. The race will be ruined now. Don't worry, Scoop. You helped put things right too. Did I? Yes. You said we should reel Lofty in like a fish, and that's exactly what we did. Except Lofty hasn't got ugly teeth and spikes down his back. <laughs> we'll get the bridge finished in time if we all work together. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Have an official weather forecaster for the event, Bob. After all, wind or rain could ruin the sculptures. 
I'd be happy Ooh, to... Oh, could I do that, Bob? I've got a new weather app on my phone. Of course you can, Leo. You're now our official weather forecaster. And what does it say about today's weather, young man? According to this, the forecast for Spring City is excellent. Great. But make sure you keep checking in case it changes, Leo. Yes, Bob. Hmm. Welcome, everyone, to the Sand Sculpture Competition. This year's theme is Under the Sea. And I can't wait to see all your amazing creations. Let the sculpting begin! You can wash your hands at the tap over there, Mayor. Ah. Come on! It looks like fun, doesn't it, Wendy? We've got an extra sand mould and plenty of sand. Yeah. What's the weather forecast, Leo? Still sunny, Mr B. Oh? Hmm. <gasps> no! My ring! What's that, Madam Mayor? My ring! It's fallen off! We have to find it, Mr Bentley! Ah! Don't worry, Mayor Madison. I'm sure we'll find it. We must! I have to return it to the museum tomorrow. That ring's priceless! I was standing next to Scoop when he made the sand blocks, so it must be in one of the sculptures. <gasps> I don't mind looking through our sculpture. As long as there's enough time to build them again. If people really don't mind. Oh. Let's find that ring, everyone. <sighs> I'm sorry, everyone, but I was sure it would be in one of the sculptures. Um... What is it, Jenny? Have you remembered something? Only that I saw you wearing the ring after we started sculpting, so it couldn't be in a sand block. Then it's lost! Gone! Forever! I suppose I'd better tell the museum. Please cancel my appearance at the ball, Mr Bentley. Hang on. I've got something at home that I'm certain will find your ring. Madam Mayor, you shall go to the ball. Carry on sculpting, everyone. Will we have time to rebuild our sculptures, Bob? Of course, Brandon. Wendy, Scoop and I just have to make new sand blocks first. Leo! What are you doing? I'm trying to find my notes on what to do in an emergency. Train. But how? Agnes 1, this is Liam. The track's broken. Break now. Break now. Warning received loud and clear. Applying brakes now. put the team in danger. All because I couldn't concentrate on one job at a time. You managed it in the end. And saved the train. But what are we going to do about the station and the track? There's just enough time before the train makes its first journey. So, can we fix it? Yes, we can. Yes, we can.
paper, please. Huh? to be a real cowboy and round up those horses. Right. Um, uh... And they're in top gear! Don't worry, I grew up with horses. Here's what we're going to do. Lofty, extend your crane arm as far as you can and as fast as you can. We're going to make a barrier and steer them back into their paddock. <laughs> grew up with horses, Wendy. Oh, yes, I rode them all the time. Wooden ones on the merry-go-round. Huh? Well, Bob, that was smart work getting my horses back. I hope you've got another good idea about how to get them into these stables before dark. There's nothing for it but hard graft and starting over. We'll get them rebuilt, even if it takes all night. Oh, Muck. I've let everybody down. The stables would be finished by now if I hadn't scared the horses. A real cowboy would never do that. If only there was something I could do to make up for it. Right, here's the plan. Wendy and Lofty will stay on site with me to rebuild the stables. Leo, you can take Scoop and Mug back to their garages. At least some of us can get a good night's sleep. Even if the horses don't. All that galloping and now nowhere for them to sleep. Oh, they'll be too tired to even walk around the track tomorrow. Nowhere for them to sleep. Hang on, Bob. Yeah? <laughs> no, Pilchard, it's not for you. Good night, Buck. Good night, night. Sleep tight. Make sure your brakes on right. <laughs> giving up your base for the night. You were right, Leo. Our machine bays are just like horse stables. Just bigger. Yep. Three bays for three tired horses. Three buckets of oats and three buckets of water. Ah, I feel like a real cowboy now. Yeah. Look at us all sleeping under the stars. It's just like the Wild West. Well done, cowboy Leo. You made that into a real Wild West Roundup.
all shiny and ready to fly. She, she can't, can't speak, speak, Scoop. I know. We still have a problem. The parachute is torn and there isn't a spare. Stella can't go into space without her parachute. Otherwise, she won't be able to come back home safely. Hmm. <gasps> Bob, I think I know how to fix it. Lofty, really carefully, please. Well done, Lofty. Phew. Let's get over to Mission Control. Breaking another record, May. Could you build a rocket so I can be the first crane into outer space? <gasps> Lofty. The space crane. Interesting proposal. Let's see. Yes, I could. <gasps> this is such a great spot for a kiosk, Chef Patty. Thanks, Lofty. You know, today is going to be the hottest day of the year. So I was wondering, Bob, if you'd be able to get it built by this afternoon, as everyone would be desperate for an ice cream. What do you think, team? Can we build it? Yes, we can! someone to play with. Hey, Pilchard! You want to hang out? Oh, I'll play a game together! Whoa. Okay, not sure I know this game. Is it a copying game? Shall I copy you? <laughs> Pilchard? Oh, you fancy a different game? Pilchard! Oh, I wish I was at the beach with everyone else. <gasps> for time, Bob. Folks will be wanting their ice cream soon. We're well on schedule, Chef Tatty. Scoop to Bob. Come in. Over. Bob here. Over. Hi, Bob. A uh, bit of a situation here back at the yard. Go on. We've got a dripping hose. Go on. Well, that's it. Scoop, we really need to finish the kiosk. So I think the dripping hose can wait. But thanks for telling me and try to get some rest. Bye, Scoop. Oh, the only thing is, it's, it's dripping quite fast, and I'm just worried that the whole yard might get flooded. I mean, can Pilchard swim if it's an emergency? Right. Better safe than sorry. I'll head straight back. 
Muck, I need a lift back to the yard. Sorry, Chef Tatty. Won't be long. Perhaps that wasn't quite an emergency scoop. It was a bit of an exaggeration to say the yard was going to flood. Well, it was pretty drippy, so I, I thought I'd better tell you. Hmm. I'd better get back, or we'll be behind schedule on the build. Try to get some rest, Scoop. OK, Bob. I know we've just got here, but are you ready to head back to the beach, Muck? You big fool! Can't take any more! <laughs> Wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Oops. The bear's arriving on the next plane. Are you ready? Are you ready? <gasps> Bob, where did the bear's habitat go? <sighs> Don't worry, Jenny. Just a little hiccup with the foundations. Bob will put it right. What happened, Scoop? I'm so sorry, Bob. I just wanted to give the big, fierce mountain bear a big, tall mountain to live on so that it would be happy. Sorry, Bob. I'm really sorry too, Bob. I should have known better. No, Lofty, I persuaded you to build it higher. I'm sorry, it really is all my fault. Jenny's in a panic. I hope you have a backup plan, Bob. I didn't design the mountain to be as tall as Scoop wanted, but I do like his idea. Brilliant! Yes, and? If we use shingle and concrete as the base, instead of shingle and soil, we could build four different levels instead of three. Can you fetch us some quick drying concrete, Tutan? I can bring some now, Bob, before I collect the bear. Thanks, Tutan. You're very welcome. And then we'll all have to work extra hard to get it finished. We will, Bob. Anything you say. We can count on us. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. are going to look great, Wendy. Well, let's test them and see. <gasps> oh. Hey, Wendy, I'm about to start making the snow. Can you help me carry the bottles of fluid? Sure. I'm all finished here. Bob is here and the tree lights are twinkling. This is the perfect time to give him his Christmas present. <laughs> oh, now, Lofty. Oh, you're ruining the display. But I'm trying to find it. Never mind, Bob. I'll find it later. Come on, Bob. Let's finish the display. Is there snow yet? Not yet. Once the fluid is in, the machines need to be switched on. Oh, then is there snow? Not quite. The machines churn up the fluid to make tiny white bubbles that stick together and that makes the pretend snow. All done. Do you two want to go down and watch the snow fall over the tree? Woo-hoo! I'm gonna see it snow! <laughs> I think that's a yes from Leo. <laughs> the display is almost finished and I've still not given Bob his present. We're gonna test the snow machines! Are you coming to work? Oh yeah, sure am. Definitely! Um, I'll be there in a minute. Oh, lovely, please don't mess up the display again. 
I won't. I love to give Bob his Christmas present when it's actually snowing. Where is it? I've done to the rocket. Looks like that's the end of D11D. Hooray! Oh, uh, sorry. And the end of my film. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Better? I'm okay, except I'll never see Space Robots 3. And nor will anyone else. Unless we can think of a way to fix D11D. Ah, uh, we build an all new D11D. D12D. I'm afraid a new robot would take months to build rather than hours. What about if we clean up D11D, put him on wheels, and move him around with ropes? Except the audience will see the ropes, and <laughs> that's not a good look for a space robot. Oh, oh poor Sappy. Now she's never going to meet her robot hero. Hey, wait a minute. Sappy can do the D11D noises perfectly. And she's about the same size. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Leo? I think so, Bob. Wendy, can you get the rocket back up and the set in shape? If Leo and I sort out the D11D problem... With the help of these guys, I can. In that case, there's only one thing to say. Action! Please let go of my 
my hand. Both of you. I was just trying to make you feel safer. I think we should stay here till the lights are gone. Shall I hold your hand, Leo? <laughs> <laughs> for you to come back to the zoo. We bite to and this officially open our new penguin pool. It appears exactly. to be moving. Exactly. I'd always intended it to be the highlight of revolving. your visit. Restaurant. Oh, yes, please. I love that. Magnificent miracle of mechanical well, come on, engineering. What are we Fancy a plate for? of haggis and meats. Ooh. I feel sick. I oh, now oh, declare dear. Spring City's Maybe new Antarctic penguin this. experience to to well and truly <laughs> Maybe you would like an ice ever. cream. Thank you so much, Mayor Medicine. And thank you, Mr. Bingley. Oh, I oh, wish that well, penguin pool was ready. Sad. And thank you. This reminds Once me of the again, time you again, you saved the day. Well, what's happening? Mayor Townley is visiting next week. Really? I hear me like a elephant. What's going on here? Who is responsible for this disgrace? Well, I am. And you laid on this wonderful treat just for me. Thank you so much. We like to keep our visitors happy. Uh oh. Hi, Bob. Turns out Mayor Madison's special guest really likes penguins. Oh. Right. 
And that's why Mayor Madison has arranged for you to come back to the zoo and officially open our new penguin pool. Exactly. I'd always intended it to be the highlight of your visit. Oh, yes, please. I'd love that. Marvellous. Well, come on, everybody. What are we waiting for? Then there's only one way. Here you go, Bob! like everyone else. Maybe I could make it up to you by building you a really big jump. Yes, please. That would be totally... Extreme? Yeah. Sounds like a plan, Scoop. We'll set up the night skiing lights while you build the jump. Let's go. Thank you. 